Hello everybody, and welcome to our training of food allergens. First, let's talk about food allergies and allergic reactions. Food allergies, are a serious health issue and a scary reality for many consumers. Food allergies reactions occur when the body's immune system reacts to certain proteins in certain foods or food additives. There is no safe amount of allergen. An allergic reaction can be activated by a minuscule amount of any allergen. Food allergies currently cannot be cured. Studies show that food allergies can change throughout a person's life. Allergic reactions vary in severity from mild to life-threatening symptoms. The symptoms involve itchy mouth, skin blotches, hives, swollen lips and face, coughing and wheezing, nausea, cramps, vomiting, throat tightening, lip swelling. Life-threatening symptoms, often called anaphylaxis, and may involve fatal respiratory problems and shock, blood pressure drops suddenly, and the airways close up, blocking breathing. In this case the only effective treatment is an injection of epinephrine, which needs to be followed up with a trip to the emergency room. There are many different foods and additives that can cause allergic reactions. But in 2004 the FDA established the Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act, FALCPA, where identifies the eight most common allergenic foods. These eight major food allergens make up 90% of food allergic reactions in the United States. The eight major allergens are known as the Big Eight. These eight major allergens are Milk Eggs Fish, for example, bass, flounder, cod Crustacean shellfish, for example, crab, lobster, shrimp Tree nuts, for example, almonds, walnuts, pecans Peanuts Wheat and soybeans. For certain foods or substances that cause allergies or other hypersensitivity reactions, there are specific labeling requirements. To protect consumers with food allergies and other food hypersensitivities, the FDA enforces regulations to list ingredients on packaged foods and beverages. The Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act, FALPA, requires that foods or ingredients that contain a major food allergen be specifically labeled with the name of the allergen source. FALCPA's labeling requirements extend to retail and food service establishments. However, FALCPA's labeling requirements do not apply to foods that are placed in a wrapper or container, such as paper or a box for a sandwich, following a customer's order at the point of purchase. The way that allergic consumers can protect themselves, is by avoiding the allergens they are allergic to. For this, people with food allergies should, Read the ingredient statements and labels of the food to determine whether or not the particular item contains the allergen they must avoid. And always be prepared for accidental exposure by carrying an epinephrine injector and emergency contact information. Also, food manufacturers must provide safe food, by preventing cross-contact, as well as accurate information to enable consumers to avoid allergen exposure. The FDA conducts inspections and sampling to check that the eight major food allergens are correctly labeled on products. The FDA also conducts inspections and sampling to determine whether food facilities implement controls to prevent allergen cross-contact, and labeling controls to prevent undeclared allergens during manufacturing and packaging. Despite regulatory measures, the food industry is still struggling to bring this issue under control and allergen recalls are on the rise due to undeclared allergens, and continue to be the number one reason for food recalls in the United States. When problems are found during inspections, the FDA works with firms to recall products and provide public notification to immediately alert consumers. The FDA also has the authority to seize and remove violative products from the marketplace or refuse entry of imported products. There are two areas of failure where the food industry is struggling to bring the allergens issues under control. These areas of failure lead to recalls. The number one area of failure is dealing with label control which requires to declare the allergens contained in the product on the information panel of the package, as required by labeling regulations. It could be labeling errors. Putting a product containing an allergen in the wrong packaging material. Or the result of a product formula change that is not carried through to the label. The second area of failure to control allergens is, allergen cross-contact. It could be due to ineffective allergen cleanups of food contact surfaces of shared equipment and utensils, inappropriate cleaning practices, not using dedicated utensils for allergens, inappropriate personnel practices and clothing, or accidental use of a wrong ingredient containing an allergen. Some preventive measures that will help to bring allergens under control are the following, 
effective label control at packing and labeling process steps, good manufacturing practices, personnel hygienic practices, separate outer garments for allergens, design and construction of plant equipment and utensils, sanitation of equipment and utensils with special emphasis on food contact surfaces, storage and handling of clean portable equipment and utensils with food contact surfaces, handling and storing of raw materials and ingredients, identification and segregation of ingredients that are food allergens, work in process and rework, and protection of finished product against cross-contact during warehousing and distribution. For more information, review requirements contained in the Code of Federal Regulations Title 21, Part 117, Subpart B, Current Good Manufacturing Practices. Food Safety Modernization Act. And the Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act of 2004. Congratulations! You have now concluded our allergen training. Thank you, and if you enjoyed our video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel to check for the upcoming videos.